Hi Divers, Alec Pierce again. Tech Tips. And this is another tech tip in response to questions. People are constantly asking me, what should I buy? When should I buy? What should I buy first? And all that kind of stuff. Well, I, I've answered some of those questions. And you know from my tech tips, uh, some of my opinions on some of them, mass snorkel fins, boots, then a computer, then a wetsuit. Anyway, let's talk about wetsuits, exposure suits. Because you die, well, actually anywhere in the world you need an exposure suit, even down south. Although uh, years ago when I was young and, and uh, foolish, I guess, uh, I dove in the Caribbean with no wetsuit at all, just a bathing suit for a number of years. However, the fact remains, you tend to get cold. Even though the water is 85 degrees, you still lose body heat. So you really need to have a, some kind of exposure suit almost all the time. Now, if you dive in the north, as I do, we're in Canada right now, if you dive up here, you need a wetsuit all the time. So let's talk about wetsuits. Should you buy a wetsuit or should you rent a wetsuit? Should I buy or rent a wetsuit? First of all, let's deal with the economics of it, okay? And then I'll deal with the practicalities. The economics are convincing, the practicalities even more so. The economics is simple. A wetsuit, a good quality wetsuit, be it a 3 mil, 5 mil, or 7 mil, will cost you between two and $300. Now, that's a good quality brand name. I'm not talking about Joe Diver. Oops, that's actually a name, isn't it? That's actually a brand name. About um, uh, Billy Scuba. We'll make one up. Billy Scuba wetsuit. In other words, a wetsuit that's not a big brand name. Uh, if, if you buy a Billy Scuba wetsuit, uh, you can probably get it for less than that. But you have no idea where it was made, whether the neoprene is good or bad, if it's well seen, if it's glued and seen, and there's no guarantee and everything else. So you better not to pay the extra money and get a brand name. At the very least, you know all those things. It's well made, it's glued, it's stitched, and so on. And if there's a problem with it, you can take it back to the LDS, back to your local dive store, and they'll deal with the manufacturer and hopefully get it replaced or repaired. Where was it? Yeah, we're deciding on the, on the economics. So let's say $300, $300. Now to rent a wetsuit, typically for about a weekend, you can rent a wetsuit for about $30. It's usually $15 to $20 a day, $30 bucks a weekend, something like that, somewhere in that area. Check with your local dive store. But I think you'll find those figures are pretty accurate. Now, what that means is, economically, 10 rentals. Oh, let's say a 12. 12 rentals, and you just bought the darn thing. So if you don't plan to make more than 12 scuba dives in the rest of your life, rent. But if you think you'll make more than 12 scuba dives in the rest of your life, then buy. Absolutely, buy it. A wetsuit will last a very long time with a minimal of care, just a good rinsing and drying, keep it out of the sun. It'll last for years and years and years. After the first 10 or 12 dives, you own it and you're saving money. You're saving 30 bucks every time you go diving. I mean, economically, it makes good sense to buy a wetsuit. Now, this is particularly important if you look like Kevin. Extremely small, very skinny and small. He needs a custom-made wetsuit. <laughs> My wetsuit would just barely fit his arms. But anyway, <laughs> if you are an off size, I'm going to say odd. I mean odd, but I'm going to say I'm going to use the word off. <laughs> Meaning you don't fit under the standard size chart. Lots of people don't. Then particularly you need to buy a wetsuit. They probably don't cost anymore. The wetsuits today are so terribly stretchy. The new wetsuits are incredibly stretchy. So if your arm is 21 inches long or four feet long, the suit will fit. <laughs> They're incredibly stretchy. So even if you're an off size, you probably can still get into a stock size, but it may not be a stock size that all rental stores have because you can get, you can get extra large short, you can get extra large long and so on, you see. So get your own wetsuit if you're an off size. That way you have a wetsuit that fits, it's yours, nobody else has been wearing it, you're saving money and on you go. Makes sense. Now, this is a new suit. This is a rental suit. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's pink. It used to be pink. This is white. Rental suits are not treated really, really well. This is a rental suit. Same manufacturer, same material. But this rental suit, I can guarantee you, will not stretch nearly as much. As rental suits get worn, as they get used, they slowly but surely lose some of their stretch. Now, rental suits are used a great deal. This particular suit does typically two to four dives a day, every weekend. So this particular suit gets 12 to 16 dives a week, every week all year. There's no way you'll ever do that many dives, very unlikely, okay? So this gets a year's use in about four months. Your wetsuit will last you for three, four, five years and still look good. After just a matter of a few months, this wetsuit is already looking not so good 
And as you can see, it's tougher and tougher to get into. Number one. Secondly, I heard a story the other day. I was on uh, YouTube and uh, there was a, a video on there about what we need to know when we fly on airplanes. Now, one of the things that I didn't know, I should have thought about it, I should have known. What I didn't know is that between flights, when the cleaning crew comes through and cleans your seats and the floors and everything, they don't wipe the trays. They don't use a disinfectant and wipe the trays, the dinner trays, you know, the ones that fold out. They sure as heck don't wipe the tray all the way around and all the edges and everything else. Not the way I would like it to be. I didn't know that. I'm going to be particularly careful. My wife and I, we travel a great deal. We're going to take with us from now on disinfectant wipes. And the first thing we do when we get onto the plane is wipe the armrests and the trays so we know that they're safe. Sort of the same, what's the point? The same situation applies to wetsuits. I've had a lot of dive stores, worked in a lot of dive stores all over the world, from Greece to the Caribbean, all over. And no matter what the dive store says, they do not clean the wetsuits between uses. A proper cleaning you see involves soap, water, a lot of rinsing, and drying. Doesn't happen. If the wetsuit has a lot of dirt on the outside, it is obvious. They will often rinse that off so the wetsuit looks good. That's about it. Hang it up to dry. They do not wash the inside. Now, I don't want to make this video <clears throat> get banned, <laughs> but often you can tell that the inside wasn't washed as soon as you get it wet. Because when you get it wet, it just doesn't smell as nice as you would like it to smell. There's a practical reason for getting your own wetsuit. It fits and it's clean. Only you've been using it. So, you save money and it fits and it's clean. I, you know, what should you do? Uh, the answer is pretty obvious. You're not dumb out there. I know my viewers, my subscribers aren't dumb because they're subscribed. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't, uh, couldn't resist that. Anyway, there's just some thoughts on this. Uh, again, if you have comments on this, uh, on this video or more questions about wetsuit rental uh, or, or buying, then uh, give me a, get, put a comment on there. I appreciate those comments. That's where Kevin and I get most of these ideas. Hope there's something in there to get you thinking anyway. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips. Take care.